everybody. My name is Richard Sears. The Chinese call me Uncle Hanzi. Hanzi means Chinese character. Uh, they uh, call me this because of my interest in Chinese characters. Uh, many years ago when I was young, I realized that only 20% 20, 20 of the world speaks Chinese as a mother tongue. They also write Chinese characters, which are uh, ideographic uh, pictographs. Uh, there have been other uh, countries and other languages who have used uh, pictographs, but they're all dead. Examples are Mayans and the Egyptians and several others. But China, Chinese uh, characters still survive. Uh, it's interesting, uh, modern characters, if you look at them, uh, you can't tell what they're about. But if you trace the characters back to their origins several thousand years ago, every part of every Chinese character comes from a pictograph, and the pictograph has something to do with the meaning of the character. A couple of examples. We have the sun. Uh, it looks like the sun. And below the sun, we, if we draw a line, we have the word dan, which means uh, sunrise. In English, we have 26 letters, uh, but the letters don't have any meaning by themselves. Chinese characters, each character has a meaning by itself. You have to learn about 5,000 Chinese characters to be literate in modern Chinese, but simply knowing the characters is not enough. Chinese combine their characters into something called si, which is like a Chinese word. And uh, if you want to be literate in Chinese, you need to know about 60,000 si. Uh, we have another example, uh, bright. And if we look at this character bright, we can understand uh, two parts. This is called Jiong. Uh, Jiong is very popular, and uh, it's recently become very popular on the internet. Originally, it was a window. And in the old days, you had to depend on the moon shining into your window to make it bright. It changes its form throughout the centuries, and now we have the character Ming. Uh, we usually add another character. Bai means white, not literally, but it actually means clear, so that you understand something. Wuhan Ming Bai, it means uh, I understand clearly. Uh, so if we can take the modern characters and we can trace them back to their origins, every part of every modern character uh, comes from a uh, from an ideograph, a pictograph that has meaning. Uh, Chinese has, is, is particularly interesting because each of the characters has a story. And if you understand this story, you can understand um, a lot about Chinese culture. Chinese characters uh, have been used for 45 centuries, longer than any other written system. Chinese is spoken by 20% of the modern world. That's 1.3 billion people. Uh, Chinese characters, Chinese culture, Chinese history, the history of the characters is something that should never be underestimated or overlooked.